Open access means unrestricted online access to information, and it is primarily intended for scholarly research. Authors can provide open access to their publications by self-archiving their journal articles in an open access repository, known as Green Open Access, or by publishing in an open access journal, known as Golden Open Access. The greatest advantage is that any research article published under open access is accessible to anyone that has internet. Lately, a new trend has become popular called Going Green. It is an alternative open access model in which research funders require that peer-reviewed papers be made openly accessible in online repositories without the author paying a fee. This usually happens some months after publication. The open access movement has uncovered a serious social problem caused by restricting access to academic research, as well as serious economic challenges for the future of academic publishing. Developing countries, where some universities find it difficult to pay subscription fees required to access most of the recent journal articles, can now benefit from open access. The greatest aim of open access is to make information accessible to everyone. Nevertheless, what would happen if people willingly to harm humankind get information of possible biological warfare agents under open access? Bioterrorism is the use of biological agents as biological weapons to be used to harm humankind. Biodefense involves medical measures to protect against biological agents. The Journal of Bioterrorism and Biodefense is an academic scientific journal and is one of the best open access journals of scholarly publishing. The journal follows an editorial tracking system for quality peer review process. This means that every manuscript submitted online follows a review and tracking process performed by the editorial board members in order to fully track who, where, and when the information is downloaded. The information is accessible to everyone, but because of the potential applications, the information is monitored. The fact of having information in open access accessible to anyone has raised a strong discussion about the determination of dangerous data. Hereby, I will portray an example. On the 21st of June, 2012, the New York Times published an article describing the controversial situation caused by two manuscripts that were published in prominent scientific journals that postulated the identification of five mutations on the bird flu virus that could lead to a highly infectious and lethal virus stem. Should these results be released in accessible form to everyone? Is it potentially dangerous data? Dr. Anthony S. Fossey, director of the National Institute for Allergy and Infectious Diseases said, there is always a risk, but I believe the benefits are greater than the risks. Being in the free and open literature makes it easier to get a lot of the good guys involved than the risk of getting the rare bad guy involved. In conclusion, the community of scientists think that any data should be accessible under open access. To keep information open is also a way to prevent bioterrorism. One of the principal goals of iGEM is to make information accessible to everyone. When iGEM was originated, the most important aim was to establish a fair and open network in which scientific and any other kind of information could be exchanged. This trend has continued within iGEM to this day.